The 6 Series is really outstanding at analysis. I'll start with the cursors. The cursors ride along the waveform with both X and Y readouts, as well as a delta readout. The cursors can easily be moved using the touchscreen or the multipurpose front panel controls. If I want to make an automated measurement, I just drag and drop. I'll add a few measurements to channel 1. Amplitude, peak-to-peak -peak voltage, and rise time. Each measurement includes statistics to help you get a handle on long-term variation. The badge shows minimum, maximum, and standard deviation. I can jump from measurement to measurement, or quickly find the minimum or maximum measurement. Results tables provide even more insight into measurements and their variation. A results table provides two sets of statistics. The columns on the left show the mean, min, max, standard deviation, and the population for the measurements on the current acquisition. The columns on the right show the accumulated statistics on all measurements made over all acquisitions. You can quickly see the behavior of a measurement over tens of cycles or millions of cycles. I can also look at a measurement's behavior throughout an acquisition as a trend plot. The measurement trend shows values for the measurement, in this case rise time, as it varies throughout the burst. You can also look at a histogram of the measurement to see if there are any values that happen more often than others. With advanced analysis tools, you can go deeper still. The good news is that these tools are just as easy to turn on as simple measurements. Advanced power analysis provides AC input measurements switching analysis, and DC output analysis. But since this is a high-speed serial signal, power analysis doesn't really make sense. Let's look at jitter instead. Advanced jitter analysis provides tools that help you take jitter apart and determine its sources. A super quick jitter summary provides an excellent starting point for a detailed analysis.